Ladies and gentlemen, Lenny Bruce. How do you people really feel about doing it? <laughs> Isn't that about the dirtiest thing we could do to each other? He was a comic, a cynic, a satirist, a criminal, a genius. You don't have to applaud. Really, it's, it's really weird. It's enough that you're just listening. You know, it's so strange. I used to get fired for doing this. And like, now I'm getting a following, right? He was called funny, filthy, honest, obscene, brilliant, sick. Work clean, Lenny. Don't resort to using dirt. Time magazine called him the sickest of them all. Everybody's on, going to be warned on. about you. You're finished. Finished in show business. Oh, no, 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 not that, not that. <laughs> the New York Post called him a kind of prophet. No, man, I'm just a comic. You certainly have a great deal of social impact. <laughs> Ed Sullivan described him as dynamic and original. We all want for a wife a combination Sunday school teacher and $500 a night hooker. Hot honey holla! Let's hear it, everybody! Dorothy Kilgallen said he was a brilliant moral man. Don't you want to tell me about the Chinese chick in the club? You didn't know I knew that, did you? I don't want to play this! Playboy called him the most controversial comic of our generation. I am totally corrupt. I mean, really. The Manhattan District Attorney said his act was an anthology of filth. Wow. Have you ever seen so much blue in all your life? I seem to be under a little pressure here tonight to cool my act. He was arrested numerous times for obscenity. Man, what is that? Makes you think you've got the right to say a word like that in a public place. I didn't do it, man. I just said it. I'm ready to find you guilty right now. Ladies and gentlemen, this man's under arrest. What? Again? Oh, what the f- Mr. Bruce, you are making this very difficult. The point I'm trying to make is that we all live in a very hypocritical Mr. Bruce, society. you leave me no alternative but to find you in contempt of this court. Please, don't take away my words. Newsweek described his cause of death as an overdose of police. His obituary in Time magazine said he viewed life as a four-letter word. Dustin Hoffman, Lenny, a Bob Fosse film.